a big first get, Mr. John Cryer, two and a half men. He's telling all. He's talking. Yeah, let, let's think about it for a second. The guy's been through it all, right? I mean, the whole Charlie Sheen meltdown, some wild adventures in his own love life that just may surprise you. John's got a new look, a new book. So that happened, and oh, yeah, it did. This was kind of an unprecedented situation. Yes, you know, I, I don't I don't recall any time in the history of television Call that right that a, a uh, star went so spectacularly off the rails. In the book, uh, you spent some time talking about the good years, and you had a lot of good years yeah. with Charlie and forming what sounded like a, a very good friendship with him. In the first few years of the show, uh, Charlie was sober, uh, and he was married to Denise Richards. He was an incredible co-worker, and that was what made the meltdown all the more scary. Winning! When did you realize that uh, Charlie's extracurricular activities stopped being manageable? I think, uh, for me, the big indicator was getting arrested in Colorado. When, when that happened, I, I uh, I knew he was no longer sober. That arrest was in 2009 for domestic violence against Sheen's then wife, Brooke Mueller, for which he eventually pled guilty. Did you feel like there was anything you could do to sort of stop this monster of addiction once it kind of got going? Because uh, Charlie and I didn't really bond over drugs, you know, we bonded over his sobriety, you know? So that part of his life, he didn't really let me into. And so I tried, but, you know, Charlie made the choice that that was not the life he wanted anymore. After 12 years on the show, John wanted to ditch the Alan Harper look and check this look out. That's John 30 years ago when he dated Ashton's future wife, Demi Moore. Flash forward, Ashton Kutcher joins Two and a Half Men. Awkward. At the time, he's <laughs> yes. Demi Moore. How awkward hey. was that? It was awkward only because I didn't know if she'd even told him right. that, <laughs> that we dated. So at our first meeting, we're trying to have that, hey, let's create some chemistry meeting. <laughs> <laughs> when the whole time, I'm looking at him like, uh, hey, man, just waiting for him to drop the bomb. The first season of Two and a Half Men, uh, I got a divorce. The second season, Charlie got a divorce. So I thought, you know, after a season of Two and a Half Men, uh, that it was probably appropriate that Ashton got a divorce. John also admits that following his divorce in 04, he actually hired a prostitute, something he didn't want his son to read. So I found myself picking my son up at school and having to give him a heads up. <laughs> so I told him the, the, the facts of it, and uh, he said, yeah, I'm not surprised. <laughs> <laughs> In the book, you talk about the gay rumors that have apparently mm -hmm. followed you throughout your career. Even your wife thought yes. you were gay <laughs> yes. before you planted that ever convincing first kiss on her. It was a goodie. I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to lie. But you did start at one point anyway, change the way that you sat. Can I see? Like, look, okay. can you just okay. this, illustrate that boom. for me, please? Yeah. Okay. This is how I would sit uh, right. at school. Right. Uh, you know, as though I was uh, hosting a PBS show or something. I like it. You know. But now I sit like this. 